This tutorial covers the basics of running dynamic simulations in BioWin. BioWin's dynamic simulation capability allows us to see how a plant responds with time based on a number of both time varying and constant inputs. A dynamic simulation uses numerical techniques to solve the differential equations describing component mass balances with respect to time. Before running a simulation, BioWin runs an automatic check on the readiness of the model setup. You can also force this check at any time by clicking the red check mark on the main toolbar. BioWin checks that all elements have pipe connections and that information on all physical characteristics and operating mode has been input for all flow sheet elements. If a pipe connection is missing or an element has been placed on the flow sheet but no changes have been made to the default properties, then a dialog box that indicates which elements are missing information or connections is presented. The properties of the elements that are missing information can be accessed by double-clicking on their names in the list. To initiate a dynamic simulation, click the button that looks like a watch or press the F7 key on the keyboard. This presents the dynamic simulation control interface. Note that the simulation date and time displayed will match the date and time you entered in the Project Info dialog box or the date and time of the end of any previous dynamic simulation. Clicking the play button presents a screen that allows you to enter three pieces of information needed to run a dynamic simulation. The starting date and time, the simulation duration, the initial values or starting conditions used for the numerical integration methods. The following points are worth noting for the starting date and time. If you choose to simulate from the project start date and time, then the information you specified on the project information tab will be used. Recall that this information is accessed from the project info menu command. Note that this choice will reset any time series charts you have added to the album for previous dynamic simulations. If you select continue from, then the time at which the previous dynamic simulation was stopped will be used. This choice will continue any time series charts from previous dynamic runs. If you select Simulate From, then you may specify the exact date and time at which the dynamic simulation will start. For example, suppose you had a one-year influent pattern and you had specified the 1st of January as the default simulation start date. If you wanted the dynamic simulation to start on March 1st and use the influent data corresponding to that day, then you would use this option to pick the March 1st date. Note that this choice will reset any time series charts you have added to the album for previous dynamic simulations. The following points are worth noting for the simulation duration. If you select Simulate 4, then you may specify the length of the dynamic simulation in days. If you select Simulate Until, then you may specify the exact length of the dynamic simulation by choosing the date and time when the dynamic simulation will end. The following points are worth noting for the starting conditions. If you select Seed Values, Bywin will develop initial conditions based on its own internal algorithm. If you select current values, then the simulator will be seeded with the current state variable values. This is likely the option you should choose if you are continuing on from a previous dynamic simulation. If you select last steady state, then the simulator will be seeded with the values of state variables obtained from the most recent steady state simulation. Once you have input the three required pieces of information, you can launch the dynamic simulation by clicking the start button. You can pause or stop the dynamic simulation at any time. For example, you may want to pause the simulation, change a model parameter or some operational parameter for the plant, and then continue the dynamic simulation. When a dynamic simulation has completed, Biowin pauses. At this stage, you can either terminate the simulation completely by clicking the stop button or continue by clicking the play button. If you choose to continue, BioN offers the choice of a new simulation duration by entering a number of days or choosing a simulation end date. Any charts that you have added to the album get updated as the simulation proceeds. This allows you to observe the system response in real time and make adjustments if you want. There are a number of options associated with the numerical methods used for dynamic simulations, but in most cases these should not be changed. One exception is that for dynamic simulation of biofilm systems, Selecting the predictor corrector method may result in faster simulations. The data used to generate any time series plots that you add to the album are stored in BioWin's internal database. 
The plotting resolution and data storage frequency are both set by the data interval, which is displayed at the bottom of the main BioIn window. You can change this data interval via the project database data interval command. For systems that may have many events occurring over short time intervals, such as SBRs, it may be necessary to use a smaller data interval to capture all events in your charts and database. If you don't want to set up time series charts, you can still direct BioIn to record dynamic simulation results to its internal database. You can do this in two ways. You can use the Monitor Items tab of any element on your flow sheet to select the item to be recorded and the element stream that it will be recorded for. Or you can use the Project Database Monitor Item command to access all the elements on your flow sheet from one location. Once a dynamic simulation is finished, you can export the data you have monitored via one of the Project Database Export commands. For example, you can export monitored data to the Windows clipboard and then paste it into a spreadsheet to perform further analysis. If you don't want to export all of the monitored data, you can export the data from a single time series chart by right-clicking and selecting Export from the pop-up menu. Clicking the Data sub-tab allows you to choose between copying the data to the Windows clipboard for pasting into a spreadsheet or saving the data directly as a spreadsheet file. When you use this option, XY data are exported for each series. This concludes the tutorial on running dynamic simulations. Please see Envirosim's video library for other tutorials to help you become more productive with BioWin.